A very good morning. I welcome you to the new video. Today in this video we'll be doing question and answers of lesson number 12 and we'll also learn something about yoga. Question time page number 53. Give reasons for the given statements. The king stayed back in disguise. So why did the king stay back in disguise? He stayed back in disguise to see how everyone behaved in his absence okay so he just wanted to see that since he has given freedom true like freedom to everyone that they can do whatever they want to do but how many of them will actually take it very responsibly so just to see that what manner people in what manner actually people are behaving in his absence that's why he stayed back in disguise second people decided not to work but relax and enjoy why why did this happen because they got freedom because they can choose their any action uh, their own actions they thought that freedom meant acting in whatever way one wanted yes the king told them that you can behave in any way you wanted to any action you can choose uh, you can act in any way so this is what they thought that freedom means you can do whatever you want to do and that's why they just kept on relaxing and enjoying the king was hurt with the way the people behaved. Why was the king hurt with the way the people behaved? Because nobody worked or showed any responsibility. Okay, because the king thought that some of, like, as he was doing good for his kingdom, for his people, he might also do the same. But this, is, this didn't happen and uh, people, they weren't working with responsibility. They just acted as if, yes, we have got the freedom and now we can do whatever we want to do. Next, if the fisherman was not working, the child would have drowned. Yes, if the fisherman wouldn't have been working, the child would have drowned as there was no other help around and only the fisherman was at work. Since nobody was at work, since nobody was at work and uh, uh, they would if since if the fisherman also wouldn't have been there the child would have obviously drowned because no one was present there the king appointed the fisherman the heir of his uh, to his throne sorry so the king appointed the fisherman the heir of to his throne because he said because he wanted someone that who would actually look after him in a responsible way look after everyone and the kingdom once uh, he has he is no more or he he is not there to rule the kingdom so that and that fisherman he actually used that freedom and he didn't you know just to uh, uh, enjoy it rather he also you know did his work with complete responsibility yes so because he was the only responsible person in the kingdom that's why he was appointed as the heir to, to his throne next Number the events in the correct sequence. So you have to number the events in the correct sequence. People thought freedom meant acting in whatever way they wanted and they started misusing the freedom. The king thought of a plan. Once there lived a wise king who was worried about what would happen to his kingdom after him. The villagers realized that freedom comes with responsibilities. He announced that he was going on a pilgrimage and that the People had the freedom of act as they chose, though he stayed back in disguise. A boy almost drowned because the guard was not on duty. A fisherman saved him. So what will be the sequence? 4, 2, 1, 6, 3, 5. So the first one is, once there lived a wise king, who was worried about what would happen to his kingdom after him. Second, the king thought of a plan. Third, he announced that he was going on a pilgrimage and that the people had the freedom of act as they chose, though he stayed back in disguise. Fourth, people thought freedom meant acting in whatever way they wanted and they started misusing the freedom. Fifth, a boy almost drowned because the guard was not on duty. A fisherman saved him. Sixth, the villagers realized that freedom comes with responsibilities. So the sequence is 4, 2, 1, 6, 3, 5. Time to think. 
Freedom does not mean one can do whatever one desires. That would cause a state of confusion. The story shows how sometimes it can lead to a dangerous situation too. If the people had used their freedom with responsibility, the boy would not have been in danger. His life was saved because there was still one person who had used freedom with responsibility. We live in a free country, but each of us has a role to fulfill. It is only when we carry out our responsibilities that we are truly free. What is your role as a student? Are you free to carry out your role in any way you want to do or do you have to do it with certain responsibilities? Discuss in class. So being a student, you too have a lot of freedom, but it doesn't mean that you can do whatever you wish to or whatever you want to. Rather, you have a lot of responsibilities. Okay, you have to set examples for your classmates, for your friends, that you should have good behavior in the class. You should score good marks. You should be punctual. Okay, freedom is necessary. You need to enjoyment also everything. But it doesn't mean that if a teacher has given you freedom, okay, go and talk. So you will keep on talking every time. Okay, it doesn't mean that. But you have to be responsible enough. You should see when is the time to talk, when is the time to play and when is the time to study. So you have to be a very responsible student. Time for a reality check. The teachers of all sections of class 5 are called for an important meeting. The children are left on their own. Section A behaves responsibly. The monitor takes care of the class. Some children play silent games, some read storybooks and others revise their lessons. The children of section B misuse their freedom. They take a lot of no they make a lot of noise. Some children start throwing their duster around. The duster accidentally hits a boy and hurts him. The children start fighting, accusing each other, adding to the noise. They are so loud that they disturb the other classes. So this at times happen. Okay. So now the situation is almost the same. We people face that. So one class is very responsible even though the teacher is not there. They are doing their lessons. They are playing silent games. The monitor is very responsible looking each and after each and everything. That discipline is maintained in the class. Whereas the other class, section B, is disturbing. The other classes, they are doing whatever they, are, they wish to. They are throwing the duster here and there and accidentally it hits another, one, of it, one of a child. Uh, one of the child and then each of them starts accusing that you know this is what you have done this is what you have done so creating a lot of noise more of a mess for other classes so now work in groups and discuss what you think the children of section a and b should do use the points given below and add more points of your own so you have to see what the students of section a should do and what the section students of section b should do section a should send the class monitor to politely request the section B students to be quiet as the noise is disturbing them. Section A student, they should offer to help the injured boy. You can add more points of yours. Section B should try to act responsibly and not disturb others. Section B should care for the injured boy and take him to the teacher if necessary. Okay. And they again, if the monitor, you can also add that if the monitor comes and requests them, they should. Uh, you know, they should be responsible enough, they should act maturely and they should keep quiet and rather keep start on their with the, their studies or silent games rather than making a lot of noise. So you can add points of yours. Next, diary time. Write what you would do if you were the monitor of section B. Yes. What you would do if you were the monitor of section B. Date. Today, we spoke about freedom and responsibility. If I were in the monitor's place, I would. So today we talked about freedom and responsibility. That with freedom comes responsibility. responsibility So if I were in the monitor's place, I would. What you would have done if you were the monitor of section B? You have to write that. So I hope you people will write very good answers here. Because you people are responsible enough. Next. Your time. Circle the correct answer. So you have to circle the correct answer here. Okay. Switch off or leave on the lights and fans when you leave the room. What you should do? You should switch off, turn off the lights or you should just leave it like that. You should switch off. 
I am just putting a tick over it. You can circle it, okay? Then, eat or leave healthy foods like spinach, sprouts and curd served with your meals. You should eat or you should leave the healthy food which is being served. You should eat. So, tick on eat. Then, study or play all the time or at a fixed time to maintain balance between them. So, you should either study all the time or play all the time. You should have a fixed time actually. Then, it is a child's duty to help or not help in household course. So, you should help. Put together. Keep track of every responsible action you do during the course of one week. Make a chart showing all the ways in which you are exhibited responsibility in that week. Examples could be held the door open for the class, clean the tables after tiffin time, etc. Compare your chart with your friends to know if you are responsible or not. So since you are not in class right now, you what you can do is you can make a chart of your own what responsible uh, responsibilities you have taken at home what responsible things you have done at home so you can just compare it with your friends if you are doing it then second take on responsibilities at home they could be the simple tasks like setting the table or taking pet dog for a walk or practicing a musical instrument or watering the plants do your work with a smile so again, you can have a lot of responsibilities at home which you can fulfill in which you can help your parents. So just see whatever you are doing, which responsibility you are taking and that too, do it with a smile. Okay, but this we are done with lesson number 12 and next we are going to talk about yoga, health and its benefits. Okay, health and fun with yoga. Children, do you remember when we were a bit younger than now? We jumped, turned upside down, became, became tunnels and bridges, crawled under the bed like caterpillars all too e so easily. It was such a fun way to keep our bodies active and healthy. So when we were, you know, at a younger age, as to compare when to now, we used to do a lot of game. I remember that we used to play like... Uh, many different games in which you used to act differently jumping and then running and crawling and everything so those were the time that was the time that whenever we used to keep ourselves healthy and active nowadays you people are always busy on your playstations video games and candy crush whatsoever pubg of course so less of activity as we grow older we have to manage many things for which we need a strong body and mind. There is a magical way of doing this. It's yoga. So as we grow up at times, it's not possible for us, you know, to run. Like you are at a younger age as compared to me. So you can run faster than me maybe. But obviously I cannot play or jump like you people do. It doesn't suit to my age now. So, but we need to keep our body healthy. And the best way to do is to do yoga. Yoga is a simple and fun way to make our bodies very strong. Doing yoga has many benefits. It increases our height, helping us to stand tall and straight. We become more flexible. We digest our food better. We get more energy and are able to play and work more. So yoga is not only just like, you know, it will help you in one thing no it, it, there are different different benefits of it a long a, there's a long list of benefits you can say you can get from yoga you get you, your digestion gets better your immunity system gets stronger then your height increases your weight reduces you come into a good body uh, posture you become tall and everything there are different ways benefits of yoga basically deep breathing while doing yoga fills our lungs with oxygen it makes us relaxed and when we are relaxed we become more creative it makes our mind very alert focused and sharp we feel confident we also sleep better the most important thing about yoga is that you need to keep a control of 
breathing you have to be very much focused about your breathing many of us don't know that uh, whenever we are inhaling jab hum saans lete hain hamara stomach jo hai full na chahiye it should come out but many of us do it wrong जब भी हम इनहेल करते हैं हम अपने स्टमक को क्या करते हैं हम उसको अंदर कर लेते हैं ठीक है वी पुल इट इन साइड राधर दैन पुशिंग इट आउट साइड और जब हम एक्जेल करते हैं तब हम उसको बाहर की तरफ पुश करते हैं जबकि वो अंदर होना चाहिए ठीक है सो दैट इज़ समथिंग विच इज़ रॉन्ग इनहेलिंग एंड एक्जेलिंग इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस इन योगा एंड मैनी 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 ऑफ फर्स्ट डू इट रॉन्ग so whenever you are practicing yoga you should be very much focused about your breathing process first of all okay so you see how doing yoga is very important for us in so many ways let's make fun with yoga a part of our daily routine and get started now so since you people are at home spending a lot of time on online classes video games online tuitions and whatsoever let's start with this thing and as new year is approaching let's keep a resolution that you will practice one or two three two asanas daily and especially you will focus on your breathing your inhaling and exhaling theek hai inhalation and exhalation pe bahut focus rakhenge next before beginning yoga now there are certain rules which you need to follow some of them are it is better to do yoga as early in the day as possible yes it is very much important that you should do yoga early in the morning as early as you can second yoga is best done on a light or relatively empty stomach yes any kind of exercise should be done on relatively empty stomach you should be empty stomach only then you should practice any kind of exercise and yoga is one of them have a fruit dry fruits or sweetened milk 30 minutes before doing yoga early in the morning yes before practicing yoga 30 bef- 30 minutes before it you should have something something which is full of energy which is which gives you energy but it is less on calories and less on weight nothing ye nahi ki pasta kha liya pizza kha liya and then you are doing yoga no something which is very healthy and gives you a lot of energy you should eat that then eat home cooked breakfast like poha upma or idli one and a half to two hours before doing yoga mid morning so mid morning say pehle like during your breakfast time usse us time agar aap kabhi bhi yoga karte you should take light food and that to home cooked you are already having a lot of food dishes here poha upma idli then give a gap of 2 to 3 hours before doing yoga post lunch lunch ke baad bhi 2 3 ghante because whatever you are eating in during the lunch time your digestion process okay it gets slow throughout the day whenever since if you are active okay the digestion process will go on at a very fast pace but if you are not much active so it takes a lot of time ठीक है बॉडी को बहुत एनर्जी लगती है उस खाने को डाइजेस्ट करने में सो so, लंच करने के दो तीन घंटे बाद योगा करो कभी भी करना है तो नेक्स्ट हैव लिक्विड्स एट लीस्ट एन आर बिफोर डूइंग योगा अगेन लिक्विड्स पे भी ध्यान रखना है प्रेफरेबली हैव अबाउट बिफोर डूइंग योगा यू शुड ऑलवेज टेक अ but before that we are loose clean and comfortable clothes you should wear very loose clean and comfortable clothes while doing your any kind of exercise do yoga in a clean and airy place yes since we yoga is all about breathing theek okay? hai so it should be airing and clean place do not do yoga on a hard on a bare floor do it on a carpeted floor or spread a mat below yes never ever do this thing that you are practicing yoga on the bare floor why because whatever energy you or body is gaining is or your in a body getting the energy it goes directly into the floor theek hai wo aapke paas rehti nahi hai so use a mat or have a 
carpeted floor. Keep enough space to spread your hands and legs without touching the person next to you. If let's say three or four persons are doing yoga together, let's say two persons are doing yoga, you should have at least this much of space between amongst you that you know you are not touching the other person. So that much space should be available. Always breathe through the nose and not the mouth. Yes, you should always breathe through the nose and not the mouth. Dogs, if you have ever noticed, they usually, you know, their mouth are open because they breathe from their mouth. And that's the reason that their lifespan is less. Okay, that is the only reason why their lifespan is less. Because they breathe from their mouth. They heavy breathing. Then, keep a gentle smile to relax your body and mind and enjoy yoga. Anything which is done on a very, you know, insisting manner, karna hai, karna hai, karna hai, is not at all good. Whenever you are doing any kind of exercise, do it in a happy and a very smiling face because that will relax your body and mind both. Next. Okay. Keep in mind. Keep these important things in mind while doing yoga. Certain important things which are needed to be kept in mind while doing yoga are keep your movements slow and smooth and not jerky. Let's say if you are bending forward, you should come very smoothly. Don't come in a hurry. Okay, 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 I have to just bend forward. No, there is a proper manner of bending forward. You should come very slowly down. Okay, then your breathing and movements should match. Yes, let's say if I am saying that you have to... Um, Raise your hands, both, okay, raise your arms um, when you are inhaling, okay, and you will lower down your arms when you are exhaling. So, you have to be very careful that you have to match the movement of your body to the breathing of yours, okay. Yoga is all about breathing, how you are breathing while you are exercising, that is yoga. Then, always breathe out while Bending downwards, yes. Whenever you are bending downwards, you should always exhale. You should always breathe out. Keep your attention on the body. Don't look after whatever things are going around you. Okay, oh, he is eating that, he is doing that. No. Focus on your body. Where your body is going, it should be properly aligned. Alignment is one of the most important things in yoga. Then, breathe normally when there is no movement. Yes. Whenever you are walking, where whenever you are doing any kind of exercise, you are breathing, obviously, you know, it affects, it changes. You, de you breathe very fast and everything, but if you are not doing any movement, your, breath sh your breathing should be very normal. Hold each asana for 10 to 15 seconds. Another important point. Whatever asana you are doing, you have to keep it. You have to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. Only then you will get the effect of that asana. Close your eyes and relax for a few seconds after completing each asana. You need to give your body complete rest after each and every asana. So you need to relax. Okay. Do yoga daily for 30 to 45 minutes. Select any three asanas each from the set of asanas done while standing, sitting, lying on the back and lying on the stomach. So you can select any three asanas to whom whatever we are discussing now about to discuss you can select any three asanas now warm up with music the very first important thing is warm up with music let's go for a walk to the forest today run around the room saying fun in the forest run 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 different ways in which you can you know warm up yourself then you can also jump as 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 high as you can to catch the leaves and the flowers flying high above just think as if you are in the forest and you are running around in the room just as if you are running in the forest then jump as high as you can if you are plucking the flowers or fruits from the trees so different ways of warming up you can even dance if you want but not like full energy Punjabi Bhangra dance no it should be very subtle and very slow paced dance in that case third Pick the leaves from the ground and fly them high. See, now the child is picking the leaves and the, and the another one, it, he's throwing or he's flying it high in the sky. 
skip and hop over the branches on the ground then you have to skip and hop over the branches on the ground run fast with your feet touching your hips then again you have to run fast in the way that your feet they are touching your hips now row the boat to get back to home now again just go back to home you have to sit like a boat and you have to go back home so just row like that see she is doing that aha you are back home stand still and close your eyes take three deep breaths relax and blow the tiredness away so this is your warm up session yoga time do the exercises in the given sequence for better flow okay talking about this thing yoga trainers yoga teachers they always plan asanas ठीक है लाइक माई ब्रदर ही टीच इज योगा सो ही ऑलवेज कीप्स हिज क्लास रेडी ही इज ऑलवेज हैविंग अ प्लान इज इज माइंड दैट आई विल टीच दिस योगा दिस आसना देन दिस आसना देन दिस आसना ऑल दोज आसना आर इंटरलिंग ये नहीं अभी बेंड करवाया फिर जंप करवा दिया नो आसना आर ऑलवेज इंटरलिंग टू ईच अदर एंड दैट इज द रीजन दैट दे आर ऑलवेज सेट टू बी डन इन अ प्रॉपर स्केड्यूल इन अ प्रॉपर form you can say take okay? it so that has to give you the better results and to make it easy for you to practice okay viksh asana this is one of the best 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 asanas to increase your height benefits it helps to keep the back straight very nice yes very important very true thing it makes movement of joints smooth helps to increase height that vriksh asana is related to like tree tree hota na lamba vriksh asana method stand straight and look at one point in front of or above you okay you have to stand straight and just you have to look at any point which is just above you interlock the fingers of both hands then you have to interlock the fingers both the hands straighten and hold your arms directly above your head with palms facing upwards so you have to interlock your hands in the way that your palms are looking upwards to the roof and then you have to raise your arms above your head breathe in and stretch your whole body upwards as far as possible then breathe in now inhale okay you have to inhale now then raise yourself on tips tip toes hold your breath for breath for few seconds breathe breathe, breathe out lower the body and relax your arms so when you are going up so let's say if you are going up so you will inhale when you are coming then hold hold your breath and when you are coming back you have to release i think you might be able to hear the breathing sound of me of mine actually so that's how you have to breathe okay then surya kra tadasana yes benefits it calms the mind stretches stomach hands and back helps the body to relax method stand straight raise your hands upwards while breathing in again you have to raise your hands while breathing in keep your fingers interlocked with palms facing upwards again same position breathe out and bend your body from the waist to the right side so now earlier what you were doing in vrikshasana you kept you hold your breath for 15 seconds and then you came down but here what you have to do you have to raise your hands breathe in and you have to move into the right side of your body kamar se right side pe jhukenge with your arms and arms properly stretched fingers interlocked then breathe in and come back to the center again fir se breathe in kijiye come back to the center repeat this for the left side again breathe in and then move to the left side then breathe out and then again breathe in and come back to the center this is so you have to repeat this 
slowly bring your hands down and breathe normally then bring your hands down norm and then start breathing normally now let's do trikonasana benefits loosens up muscles and joints of the whole body make the waist slim so trikonasana actually helps to you know if your body is really stiff so flexibility increase kar the body ki and it also slim the waist method stand with your feet 1 meter apart okay there should be difference between both the feet theek hai raise your arms to shoulder height and you have to bring your arms to the shoulder height breathe out slowly and bend to the right side bringing the right hand to the right toe don't bend forward while doing so you have to bend down from the waist theek hai kamar ke side se aap bend honge you have to bring your right hand to the right toe when your right hand touches your right foot you your left hand should point directly upward in a straight line at that time your left hand should be looking upward in a straight line turn your head upwards and look at your left hand and then look at your left hand while your right hand is on your right toe breathe in and return to the starting position keeping your arms in one line again breathe in come back to the starting position and make sure that your arms are in the straight line repeat for the left side and this completes one round and then you have to move to the left side of the body and then you have to come back to the center again this is how your first round will complete okay vibhadrasana benefits it helps to get rid of back aches kamar ke dard kam karne ke liye hota hai stretches the body back and hands okay it stretches your body back and hands method stand with your feet shoulder width apart okay then turn your right toe outward you have to keep a distance of almost your shoulder between like just like your shoulders itna gap aapko apne legs ke beech mein rakhna hai between your feet okay then turn your right to outward you can see the girl has turned her right to outward raise your hands sideways parallel to the ground then parallel to the ground you have to raise your hands keeping your left knee locked bend your right knee to a 90 degree angle you have to keep your left knee locked okay don't bend it you have to bend your right knee at a 90 degree angle imagine you are pushing an imaginary wall with your right palm and then just imagine that you are pushing an imaginary wall like deewar jisko aap pull wahan se push kar rahe ho theek hai come back to the original position repeat with your left leg once you have pushed it stretch your hands theek hai wait for 10 to 15 seconds keep on pushing on to the imaginary wall then come back to the position again and then start for the left side again then padhasana benefits unlocks the nose prevents back pain and headaches improves digestion and concentration so again very good asana method breathe out and bend forward whenever you are bending forward remember you have to breathe out place the finger tips or palms of the hands on the floor in front of the feet take care spread your hands in front of the feet keep the legs straight your legs should be straight try to touch the forehead to the knees if possible then try touching your forehead apne mathe ko apne forehead ko apne ghutno apne knees pe lagane ke liye try karna if it is possible breathe in and slowly raise yourself and then if you are able to do that wait there for 10 to 15 seconds then again breathe in and come back upwards okay so i hope you people will at least try these asanas and in the next class we'll talk about other asanas and shavasana and all that 
how you have to relax once you have done with the yoga uh, a good session of yoga okay so do practice any of these yogas this is the best time for you people to practice it because you if it comes into your habit uh, it will be very easy for you people to keep a track of your body also and uh, to stay healthy as well moreover this is the best time why because corona is there so we need to increase and improve our immunity so keep on practicing yoga i'll see you in the next video and a merry christmas to all of you and happy new year as well god bless you bye